I'm Anil Kumar and this video is for my student Ranin. Now you wanted to understand how to write area model for multiplication of improper fractions. Here is an example for you Ranin. We need to multiply 7 over 4 times 3 over 5. Let us see how to do this multiplication with area model. So in area model as area, what do you understand? Area means length times width, correct? That is one thing. Now we are doing area model for fractions. So what are fractions? Fractions are part over whole, right? So these are two things which you know and which we really want to know before getting into this. So let us see how to represent 7 over 4 as a fraction part of whole and then we'll see area. Now as the name suggests we are looking into area. We'll consider one side as let's say this one we'll consider as rows you know and this as columns. Let me write in a dark ring. So we have columns and rows. Area, length and width. When we talk about fractions could also be written as rows times columns, right? So we could have, uh, we could write rows times columns. So either way, both when multiplied will give you area. Now it is important to understand that in fractions, a rectangle can be divided into four rows and five columns to represent this kind of a fraction. So I'll make a rectangle here, right? So I'm using open-ended rectangle. This is my rectangle. Now this rectangle, I will divide into four equal parts. So let's say this, like this. So this is one, so that is one, two, three, and four. So I have now this rectangle which is divided into four equal parts. I have to select seven. Oh, but I have only four. That is to say I should make another rectangle. Correct? So we'll make another rectangle, another open-ended and then we'll divide that also in four equal parts. One, two, three, and four. So we have two rectangles here. Do you see that? So this is the rectangle we are talking about. Okay. So we started with lighter color so that we don't have to erase. Okay. So we have now rectangles with four rows. Four rows. Now to select seven out of four you know, you cannot select 7 out of 4. You need more. So we had another rectangle. But let's shade in 7 now. So we have 7. So we shade in this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this represents 7 out of 4. Do you see that? So this represents 7 out of 4. So we can say that is our big rectangle where seven columns out of four have been shaded correct so that becomes rows for us now let's look into columns so in columns we have to divide each rectangle into five columns okay so we will divide it into five columns so let's say so we'll make slightly smaller. So we'll just go down. We'll do both at the same time. One, two, so we got two columns. Three, okay. And then imagine these are equal columns, right? So my drawing is not that accurate this time, but imagine these are equal, correct? Okay. Now we have to select 
three. So what we will do is we will select three. So let's select the first three. So we select these three. Okay, so let me shade it. So one. I'm not shading this part. We, I'm just shading the common part. I should have, right? But I'm shading the common part to avoid the confusion. So we are selecting three out of the shaded portions. Do you see that? Three out. So this is what I have shaded. And let me call this. Actually, it extends to, to the end, right? So that is three out of five have been selected. So we say this is three out of five. Okay. But important thing is what is common between the two? So the portion which is common is the product correct so this is common do you see that so here we have that portion as common and here we have this portion as common so at times what we do is we only shade up to the common portion okay so this represents area and therefore this is equal to 7 over 4 times 3 over 5 now, how much is that? For that, we have to understand what this small unit is equal to. So, how many units like this are there in one rectangle? 4 times 5, 20 units. So, the denominator is 20, correct? Number of these units in one rectangle. Out of 20 and 20 here also, how many did we shade? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 are here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 are here, right? So you just add them, or you could have counted in sequence. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we get 21 here. Do you see that? So 7 over 4 times 3 over 5 equals to 21 over 20. So this represents the area model and to find the product also. So 7 over 4 times 3 over 5 is 21 over 20. As you know, to multiply fractions, what do we do? We multiply numerators. 7 times 3 is 21, 4 times 5 is 20, right? And get the answer. So it matches, that means the answer is correct. Now, at times we need to write it in the lowest terms or in mixed numbers. So to write this in mixed numbers, what you can do? You can divide 21 by 20, correct? So it goes 1 times and the remainder is also 1. And you could write this as 7 over 4 times 3 over 5 is equal to 1 whole 1 over 20. You could do that. So that is how you could find the area using or I should say that is how you can find product of two fractions using area model. Now as an exercise for you, can you rearrange these units to show that it is 1 over 1, 1 over 20, well you could. As you see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are still blank. I can take 8 from here, put them there, so that will fill this up, one whole unit. And since I took 8, I'm left with one more. That is that one, correct? So that is kind of interpretation of converting this improper fraction into a mixed number. I hope running with this you have understood the concept. Basic concept is number of rows and columns in a rectangle will be represented by the denominator of your fractions. So make a rectangle with four rows and five columns. Then the second step is if the first term is row, second is column, shade seven rows. Now, since we had only four rows, we had to draw another rectangle. 
to incorporate three more. So those were those three more. So we get seven out of four from here to this place, correct? Then work on the columns. We have five columns and shade three out of them, right? So three out of five has been shaded. The common portion represents the product we found by adding the units that these are 21 units. So we get 21 units. Each unit, we have how many? We have 20 in all, right? So 20 small units make the whole. So 4 times 5 also is 20, you can see, gives you the denominator of the product. So that is how we multiply and that is how we use area model to multiply improper fractions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.